Hey guys, so let's talk about TC syndrome and costochondritis. They're very, very similar conditions and it's easy to get them mixed up, but let's talk about what the difference is. So costochondritis, you get your chest pain, your inflammation in the chest and clicking and popping when you breathe and all of that. And TC syndrome, you get that exact same stuff. The only difference is you actually get some physical swelling somewhere up here on the chest. For me, I would have physical swelling on this left side here. It would always be more raised, this whole muscle mass right here, than this side when I was dealing with it. But you still have that exact same costochondritis pain and everything. That's really the only difference. And at the end of the day, they're caused by the same mechanical issue, just you happen to get swelling with one. So we should fix them with the same mechanical fix. So that issue, if you haven't heard me talk about it in my other videos before, um, when your ribs connect to the spine back here, they can get jammed up and locked in place by collagen, this hard substance in our body that builds up over time and just locks that rib in place. Well, when that rib back there is frozen in place, it connects at the front. Your ribs move when you breathe. So this front rib is really overcompensating because that back rib is kind of stuck. And so if we can break up the collagen in that back rib, free it, then this rib can get some rest. Now, if you also think about your ribs here, like a sprained ankle, what happens when you get sprained ankle? It swells up, it hurts. There's like inflammation, swelling and all that. Well, if you rest it, it heals up over time. Think of your rib, your costochondritis TC syndrome, especially TC syndrome, because you get that actual swelling. Think of it as a sprained ankle. If we can get it to rest, it can heal up. Problem is with costochondritis or TC syndrome, that overcompensation in the front rib from when you're breathing, it can't rest because you're always, you have to breathe. So if we can free up that back rib so the front can start doing its job, then we can fix that TC syndrome or costochondritis and it can start healing. Hey there, I hope you found some value out of this video. Please consider subscribing if you'd like to see me make more content. And go ahead and check out in the description costochondritis, a simple fix, my ebook that I'm giving away for free, which is just a big compilation of all the most important information that I learned throughout having and dealing with costochondritis and everything I believe to be the most important things I learned and that I wish I would have known when I was dealing with the issue. So I've compiled all that information into a small short ebook and you get that completely free by checking out in the description. Have a great day guys.